In our history, we've had uh, over 1,000 brain donations now. Um, we have received those over a long period. We, we tend to receive between 30 and 40 uh, brain donations a year. Um, we constantly need uh, people to donate. When a donor dies, we have 72 hours in which to bring the donation back here to Southmead Hospital uh, in Bristol and to process it. Um, we start by um, dissecting the brain into two halves. Um, the first of these goes into a preservative called formalin. Uh, it must stay in there for, for three weeks uh, in order for us to uh, get the tissue that we need for a diagnosis. So uh, we create wax blocks from uh, the half of the brain. We take the areas that have been most affected by dementia and we prepare slides from those that we then use uh, to colour or stain to give to a neuropathologist for a diagnosis. The other half of the brain uh, we cut into centimetre slices and we take the areas again that are most, re uh, most affected by dementia but also most requested by researchers. We freeze the tissue long term for use in research. Uh, we take the areas of the brain that are usually most affected by dementia uh, and we store them in freezers that are at minus 80 degrees. So that's four times colder than your normal household freezer. This allows us to preserve the tissue for very long periods. Um, the brain bank's actually been in operation since 1984 and we do still have some of the tissue that was originally donated in the 80s, which is still of use in research today. So brain donation is a really long lasting gift. Within the freezers, we hold tissue in many different formats. So we have what remains of the half brain that we, we have kept uh, frozen, ready for research. We also have things like extracted DNA, um, RNA and protein. Uh, all available for research from people looking at the genetics of dementia to looking at the different proteins and their enzyme activity. Uh, our primary research here is uh, dementia. Uh, we struggle somewhat with funding here in the UK for brain banks. Uh, most of our brain bank is actually supported by charity. Uh, we're part of the University of Bristol and they give us our infrastructural support, so the building, our electricity, the power, power for our freezers. Um, Brace is a local charity that has been supporting us basically since the day we opened our doors. If anyone's interested in becoming registered as a, as a potential brain donor, um, the best place you can go to is to look online. Um, there's the Medical Research Council website, which contains details of all 10 UK brain banks and the types of donation that they may be able to accept.